Yo, what is up, y'all? Willie Beeman here, getting ready to bring you guys some more 2K17 action. Um, this is gonna be kind of uh, just showing you guys a couple of games. Um, this first one, I, I dropped 18 on them. Um, but really, what I want to go over in this first game is uh, how to shoot. So this year, they they brought in uh, shooting with the uh, right stick, and so that's exclusively how I shoot. And uh, I'd recommend that to anybody. So if you look at this slow motion right here, you see it's hard to tell on this, but on the green right there, you can see a little bit of a darker green on the right side. And if you shoot with the right stick, you actually have a little bit better chance to hit greens as long as you pull back pretty straight. I mean, the straighter you pull back, the easier the green is. And obviously badges and things like that come into effect. So, I mean, if you have corner specialists, you have catch and shoot, um, on Hall of Fame, you know, you got deep range dead eye on Hall of Fame. If somebody throws you the ball in the corner like this and you pull with the right stick, if you pull it straight back, it's a lot easier to hit a green than it is just to hit the square button. And, uh, you know, I've tested this, I've tried out the square button a little bit here and there. Um, it's obviously easier to time just because it's more familiar to you. But after you use the right stick, you know, for 300 games or so, it, it really it feels natural now like it kind of feels weird to shoot with the square button for me now so uh, like I'd recommend if you guys are gonna like be a sharpshooter or anything like that or even shooting with a, um, a playmaker for real um, you gotta get that right stick down because to be able to shoot really well with the playmaker you gotta be able to use that right stick alright so this next gameplay is gonna be uh, you know we rolled into Old Town and there was this nine game win streak and uh, you know uh, me and Brother Jones were checking out their badges and stuff like that. And uh, this slasher had a bunch of Hall of Fame badges, and the uh, big man had a bunch of Hall of Fame badges. So we wanted to go try it out. You know, we don't play, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of people getting these Hall of Fame badges yet. So we wanted to go, you know, test our game out, see how good we were. And uh, you'll see by this gameplay that, you know, our squad is, our squad is legit. You know, we're going to hold these guys down. <laughs> um, and if you guys are interested in my build, I'm going to drop, uh, I think my next video I'm going to drop my my whole build my attributes um, maybe some signature style stuff even though I really don't run anything special with my signature styles so uh, um, I'll probably drop that next vid just just to kind of give you guys my build because my build is different than everybody's um, I, ne I haven't seen anybody um, with my build out in the park yet and uh, it's really cool um, it's a 610 power forward which is uh, which is kind of weird but at the same time, I can snag. Like, you wouldn't think I could, but I can snag over all the glass cleaners. Um, the key is to box out. You know, this year it's a lot harder to box out than in years past. So, um, you know, you really got to be on your game whenever you're in there in the uh, in the paint. You know, trying trying to uh, bang with a lot of these uh, a lot of these huge like seven three glass cleaners. But at the same time, my six ten uh, height gives me really a lot of speed on the outside, so I'm able to get open really well. Uh, so you see Brother Jones right there, with the little screen. The screens are OP in this this year too. So if if you are are playing 2K17, man, you gotta you gotta get those screens going, especially if you're a big man. And check out this this shot right here. I don't hit green, but look at that pullback. I pulled straight back on the right stick. You know, that, I mean, I I don't know if there there's really a difference between the right stick or square. I can't. I mean, it's obviously impossible to tell. Um, without really like getting any kind of information from the devs but I, I feel like there's a big difference between the two so if, if you're not using the right stick yet get used to it, it it'll help you out a lot with your shooting um, I definitely recommend it for playmakers too because you know your shootings already bad anyway um, so if you get really used to that right stick you know you get that corner specialist and catch and shoot you can you can be deadly from the corner you know um, so that way you know if you're running two playmakers in a lineup you can't you know you're not limited to those guys only scoring in the paint because that really limits your your, your game because then they can kind of double team in the paint a lot and so right here we're gonna have a little stretch of me fucking up a little bit um, but yeah, this was this was a cool game. I was kind of interested in that slasher whether he was gonna do anything. But man, slashers are garbage. Um, I'm I'm assuming that a lot of you guys aren't slashers, and you probably know better than that. But I haven't seen a slasher out in the park that's been any good yet. Um, the only person I've seen play pretty decent with it is my boy Jakai. But uh, he was he really he switched to a playmaker um, after 
you know, a few games in the park and figured out that slashers really have no dribble skills and it's hard for them to get to the paint because everybody sees that slasher and they know they can't shoot, they know they can't dribble. So you just sag off of them, you can lock them down. I mean, it's pretty much impossible to, uh, to score with a slasher unless you're on like a fast break or something like that. Uh, but if, if you guys are watching this vid, um, at this point, you know, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys like shoot with square or if you shoot with the right stick or if you do some kind of combination of the two. Um, but yeah, see right there, hit that green, got that perfect pullback. Um, and pay, try to pay attention to uh, your shot meter from now on, especially if you start like switching over to the right stick. And uh, let me know if you guys see a difference in the, in the little dark green area at the end of your green. Um, cause I've definitely noticed, I definitely noticed a difference whenever I switched, whenever I got the badges. Um, whenever you get those things on to Hall of Fame, um, especially watching my old vids, um, I had some recordings of me playing without, um, without Hall of Fame badges and things like that. Um, which that first game that I showed, I actually had gold badges in that game. So I was watching that, but I still had, you know, quite a bit of a, a, a green like bar there so I'm not quite sure how big of a difference Hall of Fame makes on getting greens um, but you know this this game is still new so you know everybody's still trying to figure everything out and uh, if you like the video leave a like and uh, this is Willie Beeman and I'm out thanks